Hello and welcome to What's New in Pentaho 5.0. I'm Chuck Yarborough and today Pentaho announces the release of 5.0. This video will give you a quick introduction into what's new and will provide you with a brief demo of 5.0 in action. When we set out to create 5.0, we really wanted to focus on a couple of major themes, including simplifying the analytics experience through enhancements in the look and feel, consolidating functionality to improve the ease of use, and leverage findings we made through our usability studies and in working with and listening to our customers. We also wanted to extend out our leadership around data integration by adding data blending capabilities around big data and in fact around all data. In the end, Pentaho 5.0 includes a simplified analytics experience, including a more streamlined user interface and simplified administration and security, all giving the user more power at their fingertips to explore and visualize and also blending of big data at the source to provide direct access to data in its optimal storage location and to ensure more accurate analytics. And lastly, enterprise-ready data integration and simplified embedding of analytics in any environment or application. With 5.0, Pentaho offers the only analytics platform that has been architected from the ground up for the future of analytics by simplifying analytics for all users, making it easier to create the visualizations and dashboards they want, and also by making all data more accessible through data blending and adding over 100 new capabilities to Pentaho data integration. Providing a breadth of analytics from simple reporting to interactive analytics all the way to predictive analytics. Okay, so we've talked about what's new in Pentaho 5.0. Now let's see some of it in action. So I've logged into my browser and I am immediately taken to the Pentaho user console. In the Pentaho user console, on the left, I have access to quick access buttons. On the, the right middle section, I have things that will help me get started, including sample content that I can view and video tutorials that I can watch. On the bottom, I have my recently opened content as well as favorites and the ability to add uh, new favorites really easy. So let's go to my open perspective and I can see what content I have currently open. To create a new analysis report, it's pretty simple. Select the data source and then here I'll take territory and sales and product line. I can view this as a column. Let me just change my perspective slightly and add a trend line which is new functionality added in 5.0. Really a nice way to see how my different product lines are trending across uh, regions or over time. Now because of the pluggable nature of the 5.0 platform I can add additional visualizations to allow me to understand or see patterns in the data differently than maybe I would in a typical bar chart or column chart. A visualization that I like is the chord chart. The chord chart allows me to see how data relates from one element to another. For example, and when I hover over ships, I can see exactly how ships are performing in each of the four geos. Now, let me just go ahead and save this as chord. So now what I want to do is create a dashboard. If you're familiar with Pentaho in previous versions, this may look a little bit familiar, although it's been simplified quite a bit. So I select a template and then I simply drag in the views that I want on my, uh, on my dashboard and I'm going to go to my folder which is where I saved the chord chart and it's right there and that quickly I have created my personalized dashboard that has exactly what I want to see uh, and then it's available anytime I want it. Now let me go back and the chord chart that I created. Now a couple things that are really easy is the ability to share this so I can share it as part of the folder, or I can uh, pick specific users and define exactly what they're allowed to do with that file. I can also schedule for this to run. So let's say I want to come in here and I want to run it um, daily, 
and I'm going to say every day, and I'm going to save it as a PDF file, and that's it. It'll now run, it'll execute on a daily basis, and uh, be placed in my, uh, right here in my folder. Now, before we leave, we talked previously a little bit about the administration being handled from within the Pentaho user console. Everything is accessed right here makes it really simple to manage and control. All managing of users and roles are handled here, as well as authentication and other administrative functions. One last thing I want to show before we leave is that with 5.0, we've included the Pentaho Operations Mart, which means in the box is all of the content you need to be able to monitor how your users are accessing, utilizing the data, and making use of the Pentaho environment. For example, I can double click on content usage and get a good view of what's being accessed, as well as a number of other available types of information, such as the hours of use, to help me understand the times of day that I'm getting most impacted by usage. And once again, Pentaho makes it easy to analyze and to manage the environment. In the past few minutes, you've become a witness to the simplified Pentaho 5.0 analytics experience with a new user console and simplified UI, seamless administration experience, and sleek customized dashboards. Pentaho has been architected for the future. Also, make sure to watch for videos on architected blending and reporting on MongoDB two of the major new features making up Pentaho 5.0. Thanks for watching. Join the conversation and find more information about Pentaho 5.0 at pentaho.com.